Next, we show you how the country is trying to improve its existing drones with cutting-edge technologies. In one of the best evolution of military capabilities, China has ushered in its own version of the kamikaze drone, sending shockwaves through the global defense landscape. With each passing day, drone technology seems to be getting better, smarter, and more sophisticated in a groundbreaking feat. Picture a high-speed UAV rolling to its target, and before measures are taken to intercept it, it has already sank its target with a controlled explosion. This is what modern warfare looks like, and this is exactly what China has in store now. Today's episode will cover the arrival of China's own version of the kamikaze drone and its significance. Chinese drones are the best ones for keeping people safe and protecting the officers. China has introduced the Sunflower 200, a killer drone, drawing parallels with Iran's Shahed-136 and creating speculation about its potential sale to nations pivotal to Beijing's geostrategic objectives. A recent Forbes report showcased a video demonstrating the test launch of the Sunflower 200, suggesting it's in an advanced stage of development, possibly months away from full-scale production. Described as a low-cost weapon by China Defense, the drone boasts a 3.2-meter length, 2.5-meter wingspan, and a flight speed ranging from 160 to 220 kilometers per hour. With a maximum takeoff weight of 175 kilograms, combat payload of 40 kilograms, and a range of up to 2,000 kilometers, the Sunflower 200 positions itself as an efficient tool for engaging long-range stationary targets. Impressive, isn't it? China's drone power has just touched new heights with the launch of this beast. Let's piggyback a bit and talk about how important this drone is for the PLA. China's ascent as a global powerhouse in drone technology has become a defining factor in contemporary military developments, with this Sunflower 200 drone emerging as a pivotal player in this trajectory. The nation's strategic focus on technological advancements, coupled with a commitment to becoming a leader in military innovation, has positioned China as a formidable force in the realm of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. In the past, China lagged behind other military powers. Now, every development inches it closer to the throne of the military kingdom. It's no surprise that the Sunflower 200, a testament to China's prowess, stands at the forefront of this surge in drone capabilities. Designed with precision and efficiency in mind, this killer drone has garnered attention for its potential role in shaping the future of modern warfare. With a 3.2-meter length, 2.5-meter wingspan, and a flight speed ranging from 160 to 220 kilometers per hour, the Sunflower 200 boasts specifications that underscore its utility in engaging long-range stationary targets. China's rising drone power signifies a shift in the dynamics of military technology, challenging established players on the global stage. The country's lenient export policies, flexible payment options, and strong backing from the Chinese Communist Party have propelled it to the forefront of combat drone exports. According to data from the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, CIPRI, China has shipped a staggering 282 armed combat drones to 17 countries over the past decade, dwarfing the meager exports of the United States. In the evolving landscape of warfare, the Sunflower 200 holds particular significance due to its potential impact on the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. As drone warfare becomes increasingly prevalent, nations are actively seeking advanced UAVs to bolster their military capabilities. China, with its aggressive pursuit of technological superiority, is well positioned to meet this demand. The Sunflower 200, showcased at Russia's Army 2023 defense exhibition, has sparked intrigue with its advanced features and potential applications on the battlefield. The drone's 40-kilogram combat payload, maximum takeoff weight of 175 kilograms, and impressive range of up to 2,000 kilometers make it a versatile asset. It is not merely a replica of Iran's Shahed-136, but an upgrade that mirrors its performance, range, and capabilities. The incorporation of a smart guidance unit, 
similar to the digital scene matching area correlator, DASMAC, used in the Tomahawk cruise missile underscores, China's commitment to integrating cutting-edge technology into its military arsenal. China's investment in drone technology has not only positioned it as a major exporter, but also as a key player in shaping the future of warfare. The Sunflower 200's potential sale to nations critical to China's geopolitical interests and the careful maneuvering to avoid sanctions amid the Ukraine conflict highlight the intricate balance Beijing must maintain. As China navigates this delicate terrain, the Sunflower 200 symbolizes not just a drone, but a symbol of China's rising influence in the global military-industrial complex, reshaping the contours of military power in the 21st century. Amidst the drone warfare landscape, Russia has not been left behind, enhancing its Shahed 136 with GLONASS satellite guidance units to elevate its lethality, accuracy, and range. However, the upgrade comes with limitations, lacking real-time control and requiring a lighter warhead due to the heavier guidance system. Russia plans further modifications, including replacing the noisy gasoline engine with a silent electric motor and adapting components for freezing weather on Ukrainian battlefields. Yet, doubts loom over the seriousness of these upgrade projects, evidenced by a Shahed-136 crash in Romania exposing quality control issues. Forbes suggests that the Sunflower 200, while not a direct copy, offers similar performance, range, and capabilities as the Shahed-136. This drone can be launched with a rocket unit or catapult and features a smart guidance unit akin to the digital scene matching area correlator, DSMAC, developed for the Tomahawk cruise missile. The Ukraine conflict has exposed vulnerabilities in Russia's military drone sector, including restricted access to advanced technologies due to Western sanctions, a need for authorized high-end systems, and a general underdevelopment of drone-making capacity. In contrast, China has emerged as the leading global exporter of combat drones, leveraging lenient export policies, flexible payment options, strong party backing, and years of reverse engineering. Reuters reported that China shipped 282 armed combat drones to 17 countries in the past decade, while the U.S. exported merely 12 over the same period to France and Britain. However, China's cautious stance in the Ukraine war, balancing support to Russia to avoid Western sanctions, makes it unlikely for the Sunflower 200 to join Russia's arsenal soon, despite China previously sending dual-use drones to Russia for military purposes. The complex dynamics of China's involvement in the Ukraine war are further highlighted by the actions of Chinese drone maker DJI. In May 2022, DJI suspended its operations in Russia and Ukraine, becoming the first major Chinese company to withdraw business from both countries amid escalating conflict and Western condemnation. Despite DJI's denial of selling products for military use, both Russia and Ukraine extensively employ its drones for various military purposes, including reconnaissance, artillery spotting, sniping, and ambushes. Russian companies importing Chinese drones and related equipment for their special military operation underscore China's intricate position in a war where neither a decisive Russian victory nor a significant defeat aligns with its interests. As the conflict unfolds, the Sunflower 200's potential sale and its implications on global power dynamics pose intriguing questions. Will China navigate the delicate balance in supporting Russia without jeopardizing its economic ties with the West? How will the Sunflower 200's advanced capabilities impact the evolving landscape of drone warfare? And, with Russia facing challenges in its drone program, can China solidify its position as the primary exporter of combat drones, reshaping the dynamics of military technology proliferation? These questions add layers of complexity to an already interesting geopolitical scenario where technological advancements and strategic maneuvers are important and set the term for the future of the world. With much about the arrival of China's own version of the Kamikaze drone and its significance covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space, and we will see you in the next one.